Hello and welcome back to Songs of Six. It's been a little while, it's been a couple days. As you can see, we have a little bit of an expansion to our city. I didn't really uh, want to pan over it all, it's going to take forever. And we're doing pretty, pretty decently. Let's get some guys to start off this episode so that by the time I'm done talking, I can look at potentially getting more. We have five who are homeless so that's something i'm building houses over here for it's been a couple days since i've played i've been very busy like i always mention in the background trying to get this going because in my mind now that i've hit 1000 uh subs which i really appreciate and thank you to all the people who are members as well you guys are awesome but i have better aspirations and hope to get there soon. So I've been busy in the background. Not really not really making videos because I'd like them to kind of reflect what I'm capable of, if that makes any sense. But while I talk, I'm gonna do some decoration here. And I'm likely gonna do the video in the same fashion I did the last ones, where I just uh, chat along and, you know, play the game. Somebody said in the comments that they really like that style. Uh, I do too, personally. But sometimes I skip ahead, and I, I don't blame you. If you want to do that, go for it. By all means, jump ahead into the end, and you'll see what I've done. I'll try to remind myself to do little things like editing in there. Oop, yeah, get that out of there. So what I'm doing here is um, I do like four flower beds and then a tree at the end. That's just to get rid of stone. I technically could sell a stone and min-max and make money that way. But I think it looks really good. Like, you guys saw, those those flare beds look really good under the rain. And we still have all of this zone here to work with. Our children, now we have 20 there. Okay, so I think that maybe last time it was potentially glitched. Because the last time I tried to play, there was zero babies and zero children across the board. And we had like four in here total. And now we have a good amount coming in. That's good. That's good. I have no clue what was going on there. But that was becoming a frustration of mine. But now that seems to be solved. And our mission is to continue building this area here. So they need to get... Some furniture, stone, and wood. And get some hauler boys over here. Do that. Then make a small one. And then I'm also going to put a workstation. Just so that we can get that work done quicker. They'll come over here and start doing all that. We have a bunch of Kryptonian laborers working. We have decently trained archer boys. 20%. Let's train these guys. Up a little bit more. And it's got bows. We have 278 bows. Wow. That is good. Good. And we have a ton of leather. 
So things are looking up in certain degrees, or certain aspects, I should say. But we definitely could do a lot better in others. I'm thinking, because like I said, I don't really care about this as a serious run. I'd like to attack a rebel region and get some some of their leather armor from them. So these guys are freelance. This is not our capital, but does Hoogland have any... Hoogland is just one guy, so we're going to kill him. We're going to straight away just plow him over and take his land here. Bah, bah, bah. Oh wow, those are really expensive guys. Okay, so he has 151 guys. Theoretically, our guys should be better. Got some slaves to purchase. Let's save our money. Let's check. Let's also check what what is making these guys so expensive. Maybe they're really good archers. Oh yeah, they are. Oh hell yeah, they are. Let's let's get them. Let's ball out, and we'll go intercept these guys, and we'll do the actual battle. I owe you guys at, at least. We can wait. Oh, yeah, they're gonna retreat because they're not gonna. They don't want none of the smoke there. So we could auto do this and lose 49 guys, or we can engage them and probably lose none. Alright, here we are. We have our. These are the Arrows of the Night. I think these are the decently trained archers. These are just regular melee guys, and these are melee guys as well. So these are actually really well trained archers. The way we're going to do this is we're going to let them come to us through an open field and just have them get peppered. Simple as that. Oh wait, do they have a catapult? Do they have a catapult? No, they don't. We'll change the plans a little bit. We'll just kind of like hug the catapult line here have these guys do this. I don't care if mercenaries troops die. Preferably we just win, which is a given. Alright. And then we'll have them move quickly if they need to. So, these guys have no fucking chance on the planet. Nobody should have ranged. Their, ar their army may have like a small contingent. No, they don't. Yeah, they don't. I should have looked at them before I got into a fight with them, but I knew that they didn't have anything. It's going to be an easy, easy victory against these guys. We may even just bully them and take stuff from them. I think we were trading with them. But I don't keep track of my neighbors in that fashion. They're only useful for the, the monetary value I can get out of them. Oh, they're doing something interesting there. I've never seen them move in a... Diamond formation. Okay, go off. Okay. What are these guys, Kryptonians? I think they're Kryptonians. Yeah, they are. They look like Kryptonians. I've kind of learned the tops of their heads. So those are Telapis. These are Kryptonians. There's Telapis and Kryptonians. And then I think there's like a small group of humans in here. Right here. Dondarians. These are Kryptonians. Oh. You guys want to charge me, or do you want to get peppered? We'll have these guys pepper those guys, because that's the biggest group they have. I feel like they didn't really get damaged that badly. They do have a lot of leather armor, though. Die, you bastards. If you've never played... The uh, battles version of this game, because it took me a long time. I find that the best defense is like, or like literally, defense is the best here. Oh, what are you doing, you crazy maniacs? Stay there. Um, and be very quick on the pauses there. If you don't know, it's one to pause, two to speed up. Oops, and I accidentally hit three. And two will go to quarter time speed, so you can slow it down a little bit. And then. I usually keep it at this speed right here. And you can see that enemy group broke because they didn't have very much morale to begin with. And I'm gonna actually go to quarter time speed and then cover these two guys. Have them, oh, I would like to have that group and this group move forward. 
They should break the enemy formation just by sheer mass. And the goal is to always envelop. But as I was saying, like, just be defensive for a little bit. They'll break. Usually, unless they have a good army. And then, here you go. It's game over for these guys. They all flee. None of them want to fight. That's usually how it's going to go. And I'm going to speed it up so that they... They just kill the last few guys who fight. So a couple of them will have some decent training. And then... That's it. I think... Yep. Yeah, there we go. The last couple guys there. Getting back on the catapult. Awesome. So we got some brews, some rations, some clothes, a ton of leather armor, ton of metal armor, bows, etc., etc., which is great. And we've got some food. Oh, baby. This is what I was hoping for. All right. So pause. Go to the home world real quick. Why? Well, I, I thought you could click on your capital and do it, but I guess not. So, 32 prisoners. I'm licking my lips because I'm hungry hungry in the real world and I know my people are hungry starving even in this world I want it to be beautiful I want it to be a really nice zone do you understand I don't think people really understand how I want this cannibal zone to look hmm I'm planning it out we could build another one of these chamber so, like so, okay. Now hear me out. We keep building... We build a big ass... I'm thinking like a factory right now. So it's three away, right? Yep. Something, something nice and big. Um, like that, and then I'll just pop up the brush tool there. Kind of do one of these bad boys, All right? Oops. Dang it. I want it to be like three away. That's good, perfect. This is gonna be a big butcher zone. Because we have a lot of stuff to butcher, a lot of people. Eight butchers, 16 butchers, think of that. This place is going to be popping. Your local burger joint. Oh, we need a little bit more length. That's what she said. I know Keck is going to make a clip on that one. I'm going to try to beat Keck to, to his own clips. No, I can't do that. I would deny him any kind of content in that regard. I do love the clips, though. I have to, when I'm not busy in my life, moving, actually, take all of those clips and make good shorts out of them. I can uh, at any point in time. So we're going to have these guys do that uh, in this area. What What is your major malfunction? Oh, they're training right now. And then people are unhappy too. Probably don't need to have them training, but it's okay. They're, they're getting there. We'll, we'll eventually have some babies who are older, or old enough age, right? Let's see. Wow, we have a lot. A couple of them are three. Almost three, I should say. Not there yet, but they're getting there. The Lappies feel like you're not using kid soldiers as much. You feel like you're using, like, a real adult. They've been alive for four seasons or four actual years i should say uh that'd be like 16 seasons a long ass time so they have plenty of experience being alive so we need gems and we need cut stone do we have our mason oh they they don't have workers right now because of obvious reasons do we, i even have a mason i don't think so have i unlocked the technology for masonry no. My fucking mouse scroll wheel is broken, sorry. No. 
that's on the list of things to get a replacement of. But I, when I get a new computer, we'll get a new mouse wheel as well. Or a mouse, I should say. So, do we have an entrance for this building? It does not appear to have an entrance. That's probably why it's not getting done. Sometimes when you copy a building, it gets a little wonky. And this one should have it. Alright. So, mercenaries... Oh, God. I forgot about my mercenary army. They're super expensive. Well, let's have... Let's have these guys chill for a bit. And then we're still trading, right? I think. Trade partner, yep. Okay. Hooglin doesn't really like us. Let's check his diplomacy, peace treaty. No. He doesn't like that idea of a peace treaty. Okay, well, fuck you then, Hooglin. Um, I'll sell all your shit that I got on the black market. Let's add space for it, at least, here. So, the idea is I'm going to have, like, a processing zone. Oh, wait, here's the zone for it. What am I dumb? Let's do that. 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 Some of that right there. Alright. Don't answer that question. I know it's rhetorical. I'm not dumb. I'm very smart. My mom told me so. My mom told me I'm the most handsomest boy. And if you don't listen to your mom... Get off of my channel, you son of a bitch. Why, I gotta... Oh, you're lucky I don't become your dad right now. Teach you a lesson. What? Because 99.7% of my audience is males. Boys. <laughs> Arthur. But some, you gotta summon your inner Arthur at most points in the, in the day. I try to, at least. I saw somebody in the Discord, uh, I can't remember who it was, so I, I don't want to say it was somebody, but they were talking about the new GTA and they don't think it's it might be good. And I wholeheartedly had a giant fucking disagreement on that one because primarily, the, the primary reason here, okay, so we've got all these guys being execu executed here. They're Talapis, so why don't we just eat them? How? Oh, okay, execution. That's, I'm done. I'm like, how do I go about making them not living? That's how tired I am. I've been working so much. And I was talking to Ocean Man. And I'm going to go into my GTA rant in a second. But, uh, Ocean Man about it. And it's just, sometimes I, I haven't been sleeping, so I just don't upload I don't want to upload some trash and make you guys think I'm annoying because it's definitely not been the best of my content only because I've just been sleepy all the time and I'm not I'm not really focused on what I'm doing especially today but still want to expand the city still want to do all of this stuff and my rant on GTA 6 is that I think the game will be great. I think the microtransaction hell of GTA 5 will be there. I think it will be encompassed thoroughly. But I think that they will also really polish the ever-living shit out of this game. Like, it's going to be... You're going to need, like, a extremely expensive computer to play it. I don't think that most consoles at the time or at the current generation can play it at a good quality. Yeah, I think it might be a really rough situation i don't know that's just my opinion but it's kind of like the same when you had gta 5 come out and you wanted to play it on like oh, i can't remember what what's console i think like xbox 360 was like just able to play it just able to play. i can't remember though i, I might have played gta 5 on 360 back in the day back in the day but that was a long time ago and the 360 had a interestingly weird lifespan where the one came out and everyone was like this isn't even that good this is kind of shit and at least you could say that 
the Xbox original and 360 were pretty decent consoles because they had a lot of bangers, a lot of classic bangers that really shred shit. But now it's just con it's all consoles are dead. I couldn't imagine buying one if I fucking even had tons of money. I'd rather just play on my PC. There's just too many games, way too many games to think about and even play. And when GTA 5 comes out, or 5, GTA 6 comes out, it's going to be a very interesting game. I think that there's a lot that they're going to put in there that people should think about. Because they are, they're not cheap when it comes to their games in that sense. They spend a lot of money that they make probably back on that. Because even though the, the like microtransactions suck. At least it's not EA. At least it's not Bethesda. At least it's not like any other studio on the planet. It's just chilling, just relaxing. That's all. So off of that rant, <laughs> I had really nowhere to go with that. But I I don't know. I think that Rockstar has a lot lot better track record than some some other game companies. We're gonna click this button. They should all yes. Do, 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 do. And then yes. Yes. Oh mama. Okay, so we're gonna put these roads in here. Alright. And then ideally I just build a warehouse the same shape. Oops. And I fucked it up there straight straight away. It's better to line it up like that. And then we're gonna build a shit ton of crates in here. And the idea is that all of the processed goods that are gonna come out of that butcher, that nice beautiful butcher, are gonna come straight here. I'm actually okay with this. And then I think we need to adjust the doors a little bit there, like that. Right? Yeah. And then delete these job, this job here. That's fine for that door there. I just want them to line up in my head here. All right. So the butchers will get get the butcher in, and these guys will be slaughtered. Beautiful. Drag him off to the side. Nice. Get that shit going. I'm actually going to stop these guys from training real quick. Controversial, I know. We need we need the, the manpower. Alright. So this should get done very soon. And just to speed it up. Plop that motherfucker in there, too. Why? I swear sometimes this game loves to just troll me. Open this up and fix it and do it, please. I need them to finish that area because I'd like to make armor, but at this rate, I'll just steal it from people. Because by the time they're done building that building, to be a thousand years old. There we go. Change it to. Well, we don't have the technology. It's gonna cost 200. That should be fine. I think we have enough space here. Nope, we do not. Hmm. Well. May as well find a different road for it. Or a different area, I should say. Because this is going to be more prisoner zone. Well, fuck it. They'll just make clothes, I guess. That's actually fine. I'd rather have more clothing than anything. Get this done, boys. There we go. And then, to just deal with the problem, I feel like it's because there's like no holes at the bottoms 
they can't like get out. They get, they're like, I don't want to walk that far, it's too far. Alright, so, there we go. Oh, yes! Yes! This is exactly what I wanted to see, even though it's a little decrepit. These bodies are still good. They're still good, you can, you can still scrape a little bit off of them. Yes. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Turn that meat into something valuable. Yes. Get this... Get this finished up too. Logistics hauler. Put a wood hauler there. Can we get this done, brothers? I don't think they're gonna ever finish it. it takes some time to get these jobs done, and it's quite frustrating. Alright, and then we're gonna raid them again in a second. After I sell all of their goods to... Maybe I sell them to them. Resource. How do you guys feel about... Oh, they're not going to give me any value. Because we're at war. Dang it. Why couldn't you guys like me? Why couldn't you guys like me? Just wanted you to like me. Now I'm gonna have to make a ton of money off of you. So much fucking money that it's not even funny. Oh my god, my scroll wheel, like I said, is absolutely just destroyed. It's, it's an old mouse. I have a lot of stuff that I'd like to upgrade. And... One of them being my computer's processor and all that stuff. But I'm just going to get a new computer altogether. Because I'm not really that smart when it comes to building and upgrading and doing all that stuff. I'd rather just have it done. And some people might call me a scrub. That's quite alright. I am a scrub. I'll accept that. Can you guys get... Just, just, just walk in here. Just... Yes, just walk right over there. Thank you. Thank you so much. I Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. It's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. Sometimes I didn't I didn't know. It was getting really dicey there. It was getting really, really dicey there. And, and it, I get worried for these guys because I know it's really, really hard to finish a warehouse with wood. But they did it. They did it in the end. And they got the other one done, too. Wow, I'm so proud of them. So 16 of that. Why don't we do about 16 of that? And then we'll just have a decent amount of meat storage here. Alright, so now the key here is we need to get to 500 people, right? Population-wise, we're getting there. Army-wise, this group is back and ready to go. So we're going to actually build another mercenary army. Oh, mama. That's expensive. Well, we'll recruit these guys, and we'll just, uh... We're gonna go pummel them again. And hopefully get some good stuff out of it. We will lose 84. Wow, that's not... That's not gonna happen. Alright, so... We're gonna take control again. Looks like the same kind of composition as before. The garrison troops are always gonna be very well trained. I'm actually just going to have our guys go back here. Uh, these should be the good bowmen. And then we'll have these bastards come here. I wonder if you could just remove the guys on here. I guess not. That's fine. I'm not going to stand in the woods and let them come at me. I'd rather let them come out of the woods and get shot. Although, it looks like we're able to shoot them. Regardless. And I have it at a faster speed. Wow, they fucked them up right there. Are they safe? It looks like they're safe from the, the archer fire. There's no way they're going to kill me. They, they'll kill these catapults for sure. But I don't know if they even count towards the army population 
Or maybe not. Maybe they'll just get fucking mowed down here. Never mind. Here they come. Oh, they dodged it. Oh my god, the massacre right there. I'm gonna have these guys charge forward. Oh, they can't get the charge order, I guess. That's fine. The, the problem, too, I find that is you actually make them better, and that costs more. So they start to cost a lot more. Which is against your best interest. So trying to get them killed is sometimes good, but also kind of sucks in case you get attacked by some really nasty opponents. The balance is starting to appear in this version of the game, too, for these characters. I don't know where the four last guys are. Um, we're just going to speed up time. Three last guys, wherever they are. Uh, what the heck is wrong? Where the hell are they? <laughs> they started to go crazy there. I just wanted to get rid of them. There's only three left. Awesome. We get a bunch of spoils and some more meat. And then we're going to take a trip down the road to here. And really quickly. We'll lose about eight men. That's fine. I'd like to do that. And then I'm actually going to disband. Because I'm only doing this to obtain food. And a lot of it. So that I can max out my pop. And just keep doing that indefinitely. And then try to get a region that sends me herbs so I can make a ration maker. Turn that food into more food. And eventually have infinite food. Infinite technology. Let's give this guy some... Oh, uh, I didn't want to give him all of my cotton, but that's actually fine. I'll give him some of that. I'll give him some of this leather too, since we have plenty of it. We have tons of weapons and armor to give this guy that I do not care about. You take that, my friend. And you stay good friends with us. You just remember me in the pat in the future when when you're really angry that I have like millions of dollars. You just remember that I gave you a lot of good stuff. Don't come back at me now. I no no, don't do that. That's not something you want to do, buddy. So ideally I wanna copy this so <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what that voice is. Sometimes I get I get those voices. In my head, you know. We all do. We all do. Let's uh, make this here and actually put a hole in the back of this so they can walk through it. And then I want to copy and move that area over here. This is going to be copied over here. Ideally, this area stays safe in spot for like killing people and making more meat out of them. Let's see though, cause I wanna find, a, I'm trying to find a spot for the, I can't go further this way because it's really getting smaller. Well, let's first set these housing to, this is the stuff that you guys miss when I'm not recording or not showing you guys the recording. It's always recorded every bit. I just don't always show you guys everything I, I do because I don't want people to get bored. But at the same time, like I said, people are trying to keep up with what I'm doing and I jump ahead. And this is that point of the game where I jump so far ahead, you guys don't even see what I'm doing. Where I start to like manipulate the game and get tons of food and things from everything. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to build this gonna build three down from here and then straight all the way down like that so that we can have a big old fucking place for these guys with their knowledge fuck I 
forgot. It's better to build them with sticks. So we'll do it by this shape. Fucking bastard. I hope that counts as a round building. It's not going to, actually. Let's... Let's give it a little bit more roundness to it. That looks less round, but at the same time, probably will count. Alright. And then I brought it one more over. Kind of looks slightly phallic in nature. It's okay. For tilapies. We don't have any problem with phalluses. Alright. Let's put the door on there. And then we'll get this going here. Alright. Get that. I would kind of like to have a potential slaver so that we might make some money off of these bastards. We could probably fit it right here. You stupid frickin' Kryptonians. I want frickin' Kryptonians with my frickin' laser beams on their heads. Man. Is that so hard to ask for? That's just... That's just what I want, man. And that way we can defend our base. Tonians. Oh, we don't need this shit anymore. Get that out of here. And then let's put some nice decorations in here to commemorate the, the souls who were lost in this zone here. <laughs> this is a nightmare area. It's going to be beautiful, though. That's the key. That's the key, my brothers. Now, the question here is, do I want to put a bench? Yes, I do, actually. I want people, I want people to live and work happily. Happy to come into work every day and do their duty for the nation. For the betterment of the Talapi Nation, Talapi Empire. We're at 425 people, so we're almost to the point where we can actually get administration. So those admin buildings will likely copy the same... Oops, I don't want to have that like that. The same design as the law building, laboratory building. Sorry, I lost track of what I was trying to say. This building here, this lab, because they have that same kind of shaped desk. It's two by two that when you uh, make it like this. So I'm just going to make something the same shape. Probably right here, because our most of our population is right there. And then I think, let's look at the noise. The noise here isn't too bad, so we're going to copy this area here. We'll have to obviously put in some other stuff for their services because now they live over here. Oh, please tell me. Yeah, no, it's one off. That's... That's fucking sad. That's a tragedy right there. I was trying to see if it would be like perfect, but it's not. Let's see. We could put these houses like this, though. And then kind of match it like that. All right. Should be good. And then these can keep going along. People will live over here. I'll get rid of this so that people don't fucking throw up anymore. And then we can put some services over here. We did... I did mean to put a janitor. I thought I did. I have this building here. So I'm just going to copy this area. And then place it kind of within this zone. We'll do that. Bada bing, bada boom. And we have plenty of guys to have these guys actually train up. Awesome. Awesome. Our city is looking... Oh my god, I almost choked and died. Looking great. Try not to cough on, on video. <laughs> and then I do. But fucking... Oh my god. My... I need some water. 
And the throat almost gave out on me. So we've got no workers here, actually. We should probably get a couple. Grab some guys here. Let's check on the world map, too, to make sure our boys are pacified. They don't seem to be pacified anymore. Let's send... I want to see if we can't beat them. I'm willing to lose these guys if they die. Yeah, we'll win, Otto. Okay. Alright, they're gone. Hoogland. Let's wait. How much do you dislike me? A lot. Can I not manipulate them? Probably. If that's the case, then so be it. Let's remove this building. And then I can put something else in here. I'll figure that out eventually. When we get enough technology, we'll probably put like a... Hmm... Maybe a tavern. We did want masons. Correct. We also wanted to be able to make leather armor, but it doesn't matter now because we have tons of leather armor from raiding our enemies and sending them to hell and them doing this here. Let's try to get, get enough uh, carpentry furniture here to actually boost up our thing, though. So it's going to take a refined carpenter, which we don't have. And... Ideally, I'd like to have a big-ass tailor right here. Or, not tailor, sorry. Weaver. And this is, this is for all of the, uh, the boys. Right here. They're gonna get cooked up and turned into, uh, fine fabric for our people to live and use. And just enjoy. It's great. This is this is how society should be. You turn <laughs> people who you dislike into products. Fucking refuse at this point. It's actually quite a, a bit too much of their bodies in my area, so I'm gonna have to deal with that seriously. Let's try to put some of these in here. Put it like that. Make it look good at least. So we could put that and then we might be able to get away with another loom on this side here. And then we could put these little baby looms. Or auxiliary looms I should say. Although, I'd rather not have it there. If I'm going to do one, I'm going to do it right here. Something like that. Alright. Perfect. These guys can have... Plenty of fabric. For all the people in this is definitely... Don't don't worry, that's not... That wasn't intentional. It's just a totally normal building. Totally normal. Nice, nice, nice. I love that this area is just getting done. Swift as possible. This isn't going to line up, but that's fine. Life doesn't always have to be perfect. You know, I'm perfect in most ways, but can't always be the most perfect, you know. Let's get... Uh, we may as well get this because we are... Farming. Or herding, I should say. And we're about to hit the number we need. We need 15 more. We could definitely... We'll do that soon. How's our babies doing? A lot. We have a lot. That's, that's good to know. It's 13. Or sorry, 3 and 17. 19 and 1. 20 children, nice. And this weaver is up and running. Perfect. We'll have it on auto, auto employ. Pop that up. Oh, we need seven more. Yeah, there we go. Alright. 
Now let's give them a little bit more access to the fabric. We're not using it for clothing right now, which is fine. This is degrading. Excuse me? Here, well, let's... I want to try to put this here. Alright, and then... Can I put this one... Right there? Perfect. And then that way that's covered. And we build a admin zone. We're gonna need the knowledge necessary to actually get that going there too. How far is that gonna be? It's gonna be two way. I think I can get to do I can deal with that spatial issue. I like to leave a little bit of space for certain areas and then almost none for others. Just kind of how I work. Hoop, somebody's stuck. I'll get, I'll deal with that in a second. And let's actually change the shape here. So we took it down like that, and then we took back one. And like I said, I just want it to be matching this shape because they're all the same type of building. It doesn't really matter what shape they really are. Although we technically put more of these in there if we get carpets. Hmm. We might be able to. My thought is it takes up the actual fabric to repair these buildings as well. Which is annoying. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna do rugs. Rugs, carpets in these buildings are really annoying. So we'll do something like this. Potentially, I think it's like that size there. Oh, it's only seventy-five. Wow. Then we might not be able to get another view in here. Yeah, that's fine. That looks fine to me. We can build more if we need more. We just need the technology now to actually get the the fucking uh, scrolls crafted things or whatever. Fucking what are they called? Paper. They, I feel like the names of everything is always changing. And this guy needs to get freed from his prison. Alright, get this up in there. And like I said, if I don't decorate it now, I will never decorate it. So let's get to decorating this area. Make sure we change the shape. Decorations. As this is a pretty quiet zone. Actually, I think the noise starts. No, we can we can afford to put it there. Oh, that looks good. I like that. And then we put this road in here like that. Oh, we need some road from this. This is looking good. This is looking real good. How's our supply? Fucking goddamn. These guys are doing their best trying to turn that stuff into fabric. And this is the joke right here, right? Peace treaty. He doesn't want a peace treaty. Wow, he still has got some walls up. I was about to send him to hell. I think we'll lose, yeah. So we wait, keep waiting. But we can sell his his bodily resources here. Not that, but this here. And then we'll sell all of this shit. I don't care about it. Just give me a hundred thousand. Look at that, five hundred. 
percent. That's what we're going for. 500 percent. And actually, we'll ask him for. I'll say, hey, brother, can I get a fat stack of some of that that good good right there? Um, and then we will send him like. Yeah, that right there. Sure. And then we will change this out. Wow, there's a lot of stone in here. Put that there. 160. Drop that down. 320. I think that's how much we ordered. That's fine because they'll they'll put it all in here anyways. Then we can actually admin a building or an area. Speaking of which. They're almost done. Once they're done, we can actually move on to the Rebel region. They will provide much less uh, defense against us. Let's do this. I like this area. I like that they have a bunch of benches to sit on. I feel like we need a lot more benches, but we don't have any furniture. What do you mean you don't have housing? That should be yours, right here. I guess I just want to live closer to this area here. Let's see if we can't put this little block inside here. That's four away, should be. That actually works perfectly because it's still four away. And these guys can live there, and I think the noise will bother them somewhat, but it seems like putting... Ooh. They're gonna fuck with me, huh? Alright, that's how they're gonna do this. See what I mean when they say they, they do funny stuff? Here, how about that? Let's intercept their army. Send them straight to hell. Oh, it looks like they're they're a lot tougher than they seem. Now, oh, well, better to waste the money that we make off of them on them here, and we'll actually we'll do the battle ourselves because we're gonna need to. And then that will be the end of this episode. Oh, fuck it! Don't keep retreating on me. Come here, you bastard. I spent all that money on you, and you're just gonna keep running away from me. I guess we'll get the money back in the stuff that we steal from them. There's really no point in doing that battle, then, and I'll just keep playing. These guys cost 62000 a day. I can't afford them. Bastard. And his army is going to keep replenishing. So what we're going to do is steal that area. And hopefully with that amount of guys. Yeah, they they have a big ass army. God damn, let me even control the army before... Attack me again. They have a huge ass army there, though. They had 150 guys. So this region has a very large amount of space for people to live. And it's perfect timing. Look at that. Look at all the freaking blood. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. We're turning it all into profit. Turning it all into profit. In every possible way. We try to make our best profits. Take a little bit of money. Oh, actually, I'm going to need to clear out my storage on that, too. They're sending me 100000 We'll call it even, brother. And then I also... That depends. This is fit. Oh, it does fit perfectly. So we're going to put another one in there. And then we'll do Export Depot. I want it to be like a big one. 
Uh, actually, no. We'll do those size. And then, if we need to, we can ex export things that I don't care about. Like meat. Probably a lot of that meat should get exported. If we're not going to make it into rations yet. Matter of fact, why don't we just sell it to them straight right now? Give me some of that money. And then it's going to drop down real low, but we have plenty more coming. Plenty more where that came from. And every prisoner should be executed and eaten, turned into food. Get these guys trained up. How much range space do we have? We have 80, okay. Let's raise the city and occupy. I could have sworn it had a different name. No, that's this guy, that's who I was fighting. Well, let's go back and fuck him up. I think I should be able to get new mercenaries in this area, yep. So there's a few different groups that I can afford here and then now we have this region we're gonna do of course what we're best for Calapi don't like anybody and and evident by that we're just gonna remove all other living creatures and then we'll produce herbs from here perfect and then a uh, well all right and they have pretty good happiness in this area so that's fine Back to where we were, now that we have this zone, actually, it seems really redundant and I know I just did it, but I'm actually going to do that. And we're going to build the ration maker instead. Let's see how big the space is. 28, okay. So crafting, ration maker. Okay, should be in a brush tool. Two, three. So by 28, that's going to be harder to do than I expected because of the fact that we're not in that tool menu there. I thought you could see the numbers 28, 22. Okay, so we need to go a couple more. If that's 22 be like somewhere in there I'm not gonna spend too much time on this if that's the case it's gonna be here at like 25 that's fine it is actually a ration maker so we don't even need that big of a building hmm decisions decision we'll do it like that and then storage have like a small one because we really don't need that many guys working at this place. It pumps out rations like nobody's business. Boom. Oh, of course it's not. Oh, fuck. Dang it. Bastard. That's still not... There we go. Oh my god. I'm like blind as hell right now. It's fine though because we don't even have the clay yet. I don't care. And we'll get some clay in a minute. Which will allow us to build this. Hmm. Can I not get... I'm gonna build it one more over just like that so we can get the actual thing like that and then have the storage in the middle. And we'll have like, just a ton of spare storage. All right, we will trade for these resources. I only need like a few, but we'll spend a couple extra, get the extra stuff there. And then, really, it's not that valuable. Would have expected it to be a little more valuable, but sure. There you go. 
take that. And then you guys are on your way. Besiege this area, and then hopefully, because we have more guys, we'll win if they engage us. They want to manipulate the system? I'll manipulate the system. Let me besiege this city, man. What the heck? Alright, there we go. Wait. Do we have a chance to win? Yes. Raise them to the ground and steal everything they fucking have. And take their fucking shit, too. I'll rename these in the next episode when I have something clever. I'll think about it. Let's take all of their shit. Do you have anything valuable to send to me? Not particularly. But clay would be good. We'll take some of that. Alright, and then we can remove all of these guys. Actually, we'll do every one of them. Because I don't care. These Telepis that are in this, this region will be too unhappy for too long. Once they get their loyalty boost, they'll be happy. They should be. We'll just do that instead. How you like that? How you like fucking being hung? I bet they don't really like that, but that's okay. We have plenty of stuff in the city now. And in the next episode, we're going to go over the, the few steps I have to go through to actually get this zone up and running as you can see we're processing prisoners fast as possible and they take all of that straight to here we're gonna set some good storage space for because we're not making much leather we'll have a good amount of space for the herbs and then the herbs and the meat will get turned into beautiful rations we'll have another storage space like over here or probably like this one here we'll have tons of space for rations to go to but thank you guys for watching and i will catch you in the next one goodbye